when we first start using ChatGPT for blogging, we're gonna to need to write our prompts down in the box down here. So the first thing we can get it to do for us is to find keywords. So let's say we've got a finance blog and we wanna start writing about cryptocurrency. So we can ask ChatGPT, give me a keyword list for the topic cryptocurrency and let's see what it comes up with. Now, so far it's come up with a list of topics within cryptocurrency. So let's ask ChatGPT to give me a list of 20 keywords about Bitcoin. And now ChatGPT has come up with 20 keywords about Bitcoin. So we can ask ChatGPT to continue this list and keep coming up with more and more keywords for us, or we can just run with some of them and start to create articles. Now, of course, ideally you wanna do proper keyword research before you start. And ideally, if you've got a budget, then I'd recommend a tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush are great for keyword research. But if you're really on a tight budget, then you can also use Answer the Public for free for keyword research. You can just type your keyword in here and search and it'll come up with keywords for you. And then we can start to organize the data this way. Or there's another tool you can use, which I'll put the link in the description. For it's a free tool called keywords.moneyrobot.com forward slash advanced. So here I just put my keyword, my seed keyword here, Bitcoin search, and instantly it will come up with loads and loads of keywords for me. So it'll be a lot quicker actually than chat GPT. But now back to our article in chat GPT, let's say we wanna write some, an article about number 20 here, Bitcoin for beginners. So we can ask chat GPT to come up with some blog post titles for us. So I can simply just put, give me some catchy blog post titles for number 20 and chat GPT will know instantly which one is number 20 because it's just written it, <laughs> but it, it remembers what it's just said in the chat. So now chat GPT is gonna come up with usually about 10 ideas for blog post titles. Okay. So so here are the blog post titles that ChatGPT has come up with for us, and they're actually pretty good. So I quite like the second one here, Getting Started with Bitcoin, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide. Now, the lazy way is we could just say, write me a blog post about number two, and ChatGPT will do that for you. However, you can get a much better quality article by asking for an outline first. Okay, so I first of all asked it to write me a blog post on number two with a, an outline, but for some reason it didn't understand that, and it started writing about Bitcoin mining. That's actually the first time that's happened. Usually ChatGPT writes what I ask it to write. So I've just gone ahead and asked the command again, but I've put in the exact title that I want ChatGPT to create an outline for me about. Now the other thing I asked ChatGPT to do for this blog post outline is to also write it with subheading. So that way you get much more of a better quality article and it's much easier to lay out for you as well. So here's our outline now. So we've got the intro and a couple of points that ChatGPT says that should be in the intro, then the first subheading, second, third and fourth and so on. So what we could do again now, the lazy way is just to say, write me a blog post based on this outline. And let's do that to see what happens. So I've said, write me a blog post based on this outline above. Okay, so this is what ChatGPT has come up with based on this prompt, write me a, a blog post based on the outline above. So let's just see how many words it is. If I highlight this and I right click, so I've got this free Chrome extension here, Word Counter Plus, which is a really useful one. So it tells me, the article is 361 words, which is pretty short. It's a bit too short really for most blog posts. Now what we could do is we could just say, please continue the article and chat GPT will then come up with more stuff. A much better way to do this to get a much more detailed, well-written article is to take this outline here and first of all, we're gonna paste it into another document. So you can use Google Docs, for example. So paste it in here in Google Docs and, oh, all right, hang on. It looks like that. Let's go back to ChatGPT, change to light mode and copy this again. It will just look a little bit better in Google Docs. Let's undo that. Repaste, that looks a bit better. So now what we can do is go back to chat GPT and take these one by one and ask chat GPT to write about each individual section. That way the AI is now gonna come up with more detail on each section and then that's gonna create a much longer article like 1500 to 2000 words plus and much better quality because there's gonna be more info on each section. Okay, so now chat GPT has written 213 words on this first section. So I'm gonna copy that, come back to here, and I'm gonna delete that and paste it in here, okay? Let's get rid of these bullets as well. And now the second part, come back to ChatGPT, ask to write about the next part. Okay, so then you just grab this next part, come back to your 
document delete here and paste it in so and of course then you just put in your spaces where necessary so you just space it out to make the article look nice and then you've got the next subheading what is bitcoin and then you'd again take your next two pieces your chat gpt and get chat gpt to write it out for you okay so of course it's take a little bit longer than method one but it's not going to take that long. It's going to take, you know, about 10 minutes just to go back and forth and copy each of these over. And you're going to get a much longer article and a much higher quality article with better content. So what I've done, I've only done the next two sections just to show you. Now, there's a couple of things to be aware of. As you see here, explanation of Bitcoin as decentralized digital currency. At the end of this section, it then says this little, like a little Overall, Bitcoin decentralized, Bitcoin's decentralized nature is one of the key factors, but it's like summarizing that little section there. And then the next bit here, it's done it again. Overall, Bitcoin, we don't want that in like a whole article. At the end of the article, we're going to have like a final thoughts section or a summary section. So when I'm copying these over, I'm only going to take this part and I'm going to ignore this bit. And then the same for here, take this part here and ignore the overall paragraph. Also, sometimes ChatGPT will give you a numbered list, which is useful sometimes, but if you don't want the numbered list, you can then ask ChatGPT to rewrite the last output with no numbers. So let's try that now. Okay, and there we go. So I asked ChatGPT to write the last output with no numbered list, and it rewrote the whole lot in paragraphs. Now, another thing to be aware of is that, well, this is gonna turn out to be a good article, good information. It's written in a little bit of a dry way. So fortunately with ChatGPT, you can also get it to write in a particular tone. So you can say, write in the tone of someone you, you know, you like, like an actor, a famous actor or celebrity, or you can just ask it to write with wit. And actually ChatGPT is, can write quite witty articles for you, which makes the articles much more engaging. So let's try the intro. So let's ask ChatGPT to write us a witty blog post intro for this article. Okay, and now here's what ChatGPT has come up with for us for the more witty introduction. Are you tired of hearing about Bitcoin from your tech savvy friends or that cousin who is always talking about the next big thing? Are you ready to join the exciting world of cryptocurrency but don't know where to start? Fear not my friend, you've come to the right place. It's, and, it, and it continues. So that's much, much better. It's much more engaging than just a, like a, a boring, bland, factual article with good information, but it just doesn't keep you engaged. And if that's the case, then quite often people just hit the back button and find another article. So, and you can keep doing this. So each time you bring a new section in, if we go back to here, we can take this part here and say, Write about an explanation of how to use Bitcoin to make purchases or send money to other individuals in a witty tone. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, now this is what ChatGPT has come up with for this section of our article with a witty tone. So you've got some Bitcoin burning a hole in your digital wallet and you're wondering, how the heck do I use this thing to actually buy stuff? Fear not, my friend. Using Bitcoin to make purchases or send money to individuals is easier than you think. And then it continues. So it's much, much better. It's so much more engaging. and It sounds more like a human wrote it. Once again, ChatGPT has just put a little conclusion on the end here. So because this is part of an article for us, not a whole article, we we'll just ignore that bit. And I'll just take this part and then go back to my document and then paste it in here without the bullet points, of course. Now, once we've written out our whole article, we need to make sure that it's plagiarism free before we publish it. So I'm not gonna write the whole article out now because this is just a demo, but to give you an example, I'm gonna take a section of this that we've already written. So take a good chunk here, copy this, and then come over to this website called copyscape.com and you need to go to premium search. You do have to pay for this, but it's very cheap. It's only about five to 20 cents per check, depending on how long your article is. But once you've got your full article, you just paste it in this box and click premium search. Anything that comes up here shows that there's some plagiarized content there. So if we click on the copy uh, compare text button, then Copyscape will tell us, right on this article is 7% is plagiarized and it will highlight this the sections which have plagiarized content here. Okay, so if we scroll down, there's not a lot more showing so it's only really i mean this is fine having a few words here and there like this doesn't really matter but if it's like a whole paragraph for example then we want to do something about that so come back to our article bitcoin is decentralized digital currency i believe that's the first part of 
here. Yeah, Bitcoin is decentralized digital currency. So I'm going to take this back to chat GPT and I'm going to ask it to rewrite that paragraph with no plagiarism and let's see what it comes up with. So I've written the command here, rewrite the following paragraph with no plagiarism. I've put a colon on the end and then pasted that paragraph in there. Okay, so now let's check this paragraph if it is plagiarism free. Come back to Copyscape, click clear, paste in the paragraph, premium search and no results found. Now, as promised at the beginning of the video, I'm also going to show you another AI tool that you can use together with ChatGPT to really take your content creation to the next level. It's going to speed things up, make things a lot easier for you, and also create better articles that will actually rank better in the search engines as well. And that tool is called Phrased. Link is in the description. Now, Phrase is not free, but it's very, very affordable. So it just starts at $15 a month. So it's not very expensive. Now with Phrase, you, there's actually loads you can do with this tool. I'm not going to go through everything in this video. I'll save that for another video, but it can write whole articles for you, long form and short form articles. It can write blog post title ideas, intros, it can write listicle ideas, it can turn features into benefits, which is really useful when you're writing an article about a product and you're trying to promote a product. Uh, meta descriptions, you can also use it to write Quora answers, uh, YouTube video ideas, loads of stuff. But what I'm gonna show you now is how to use it to quickly create really good quality articles and using ChatGPT at the same time. So now I've loaded up my article title in Phrase. I click this button here that says, let's go. And now within 15, 20 seconds, Phrase is gonna search everyone who's ranking on page one, page one and page two, and pull all of their content and also all of their headings, titles, subheadings and everything and line them all up for you. So then you can look at them all side by side and you can say, I want that title. Okay, the people who are ranking number one and two and three have got these sections in their article. I also want those sections in my article. Of course, we're not taking exactly what they're saying word for word. We're not copying other people's articles. We're getting the inspiration. So if it's on page one, then Google likes that content. So getting average of everyone that's on page one, particularly the top spots, one, two, three, or one, two, three, and four. If you can get an average of all the topics that they're talking about in their article, and you have that in your article, you're gonna have a much better chance of also getting on page one of Google. So so now Phrase is telling us that this article should be around 1900 words long. It should have about seven headers. It should have about five images and contain about three outbound links. Now this is the feature I particularly like. When we go to the outline here and then use this button, select headings from search results. And now this is gonna show me, this is person ranking number one, this is number two, number three, number four, and so on. And these are their titles and subheadings. So you can look down the list and say, I would like this subheading in my article and Phrase will pull it over here for you. I wanna have this and this in my article and I also wanna talk about this and this and this. I'm not actually selecting for a purpose, I'm just doing this as an example to show you. And now Phrase is gonna use this for inspiration for our, our article as well. So now if we save the outline, and then you can paste directly into your draft. So what we can do now is then take each subheading and just go back to chat GPT and ask it to write about each subsection for us. Okay, and then we just take this content and bring it back to phrase and then we paste it in and then we'll take our next section. And as we're going along, phrase down here in the bottom left corner is keeping a track of your word count. Now, if there's, when you do your, your copyscape bit to check if any plagiarized content or if it's come up with content you just don't like, phrase also has built in with it a rewrite function. So you can rewrite by sentence by sentence or paragraph by paragraph and phrase will then start to rewrite that for you. Another great feature of phrase is this optimize button here. It will tell me all the words for contextual relevance I need to have in this article. So digital asset, it's saying I need to mention at least one time in my article in order to rank on Google and all these other keywords and terms. So I've got financial institution in there one time already, but I need to have hardware wallets. I need to have that in at least twice. I need to have central authority in once. Uh, I need to have crypto ex cryptocurrency exchange written in there at least twice. So as I'm going along, up the top here, it's gonna give me the score. I need to get at least above this yellow line, but ideally, you know, you're on about 80% plus, and then that's gonna help you to rank in the search engines much more easily. 
And another awesome feature of using Phrase is that Phrase actually has its own AI writer built in with it. Now, it originally wasn't all that good, if I'm honest. ChatGPT was much, much better. But recently, Phrase has now partnered up with ChatGPT to use their technology for the AI writing within Phrase, which is fantastic. So now it combines both chat gpt and phrase all in just the phrase tool but for that you do need to pay a little bit of an extra price so this is the standard price 15 dollars for the account but if you want to have the ai writing feature you need to upgrade to get this pro add-on which is 35 dollars a month but 35 dollars plus 15 it's only 50 dollars a month for unlimited words every single month so that is actually a really good deal when you compare it to other AI writers that are on the market, a lot of them are charging a lot more for a lot less word count or a limited word count, but this is unlimited. So it's actually a really good deal if you want to pay for this tool, plus you get all the extra features as well. And if you want to try out Phrase for yourself, I've left the link in the description below this video.